The offshore energy industry has given good jobs to tens of thousands of hardworking people for over 60 years and put food on the tables of their family and roofs over their heads. At the same time, it's provided a vital commodity that fueled our, has fueled our economy and also has improved the standard of living for millions. But yet, yet it is poorly understood by many in our society. Well, the Offshore Energy Center has a program to correct that. Hi, I'm Mike Kilalia with IEDC and DrillingContractor.org. And we're here today to talk about the Offshore Energy Center, OEC's Mobile Offshore Learning Units program. The MOLUs, as they're called, are six modular uh, standalone devices at which students go f can learn about the uh, impact of energy, the importance of energy, and possible careers in energy. We caught up with the MOLUs in Richmond, Texas, and we're here to uh, share some of the conversations with the children that we had there. So we're here with Jennifer Steele at Jane Long Elementary School in beautiful Richmond, Texas. So uh, this is your first time with the MOLU project, yes, right? What do you think of it? I think it's phenomenal. I think that, uh, I, well, I've really been impressed with the way that it incorporates so many different subjects as well. I mean, there's reading in there, there's sequencing, there's inferencing, there's math, there's science. I mean, this is definitely a good use of the morning for my great, kids. Great. Kids seem to like it? Love it. What do they, can you say what they seem to enjoy most about it? The hands-on aspect of it. Okay. The hands-on aspect of it, and it's. It, I'm really impressed at how easily it's flowing with all those kids in there. It could be a disaster, but they're actively engaged in learning. They're asking really good questions, and they seem to be really interested in the different parts of the stations. Great. Is there a mix of kids? Of some kids who maybe their families are in the industry, yes. oil and gas industry, and some who's maybe not, and so this could be like their first exposure. It is, and yeah. and I was telling the director that I was really impressed with it because as. As a student, I don't ever remember being exposed to things like this, and it shows how important the industry really is to our area, and it's really got the kids thinking about careers in the future, which for me as a teacher is very rewarding. Oh yes, it really is, and we really need these young people coming up. Yes. What do you like doing? Uh, I like exploring the, all the stuff that you're building. So we went down to the museum too, huh? What did you see? What did you like down there? The yellow thing is where it goes into the gas uh -huh. and the tongs. Oh, yeah. They help move the pipe, connect the pipe and whatnot. Pretty good deal. Okay, we're here with De Debbie Hilbert, who was instrumental in bringing the Molus here to Jane Long Elementary in, in Richmond. Um, Debbie, can you tell us a little bit about the grant that you wrote and why did you, we put through a grant, right? Yes, and yes. Uh, why did you decide to do that and what was sort of the process? Well, this past summer I went to a workshop that uh, was put on by the ladies from Ocean Star and uh, they mentioned that they have the MALU program, the, the mobile unit that comes out to the schools and then they also mentioned that the kids can go and tour the museum. So I thought that would be a really great way to incorporate our unit of study on um, non-renewable and renewable resources that is uh, a big part of fourth and fifth grade science teeth. So we were able to take fourth grade to the museum in Galveston, to the Ocean Star Ulrich Museum, and then we took fifth grade out there and we did that the week before spring break. So to kind of wrap everything up, we have Malu here today and right now our fourth graders are touring it and then this afternoon our fifth graders will be able to tour it. Well that's excellent. Who provided the grant funds? LEAF, and LEAF is an organization that is through Lamar Consolidated, and it is supported by community members as well as um, businesses in the, in the, uh, in the uh, surrounding areas, I'm sorry. And we also do some fundraisers for that. And I think last year they gave, or this year I think they gave like a million dollars in, in grants. So Tammy Herring is fifth grade science teacher at Jane Long Elementary here in Richmond. And uh, she's very excited, she's telling me, about the MOLU project from the uh, Offshore Energy Center. So Tammy, what do you, uh, what do you think about the, uh, the MOLU project? I'm completely blown away with the project. Uh, I work with kinder through fifth graders in a science lab setting, and we start talking about natural resources in the mm -hmm. first grade. And by the time they're in third grade, learning about renewable and non-renewable resources. And for them to get that, through all those years and then to see this in the fourth and fifth grade it really seems to tie everything together. Okay, so uh, 
What kind of value do you think the boys and girls get out of learning? Oh, well, you can just look at their faces and see the value. Uh, they're, they're excited, they are fascinated, they are engaged, they're having conversations, they're recording scientific information. It's like being on a drilling rig and being in a being on the site with the geologist studying the rocks. It's it's really a great experience. Great. So Lauren, so have you been out working on the uh, Molus today? Yes, I have, and uh, I've experienced something that I haven't known about that they didn't even mention, and how all, um, kind of an awesome, very thing out of this world that you can't even know the things that people do, like no one even thought people could do. It's just like you never know what it happened, and it's just something very wonderful and things that's just like. Things that a kid could ever dream of and things yeah. so cool and... Yeah? Think you might go have a career one day in the uh, oil industry offshore? Maybe. Maybe? Cool. Okay. <laughs> Those kids and teachers are really having fun, aren't they? And I can tell you it was a real privilege and a real real fun time to go down there and, and visit with them and uh, hear their takes firsthand. I encourage all of you to uh, do your best to support uh, the Offshore Energy Center's educational outreach program. You can find them at www.oceanstaroec.com and you can learn more about this program and others. And if you're in Galveston anytime soon, uh, please stop by the Ocean Star Rig Museum. It's uh, quite a treat, uh, very educational and a lot of fun as well. So uh, again, thanks for tuning into this webcast. I'm Mike Kilalia with IADC and DrillingContractor.org. Drill safe and keep turning to the right. See you next time.